The Canadian Armed Forces requires all personnel to stop using gender pronouns. No, this is not a joke. Like I said in the previous video, it feels like 2016, 2015 all over again with the ridiculous stories. Uh, before we begin this story, guys, make sure to drop a like on this video. It helps a lot in terms of search and discovery, as well as leave your comments with your opinions on the story. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on the notification bell so you won't miss any of those new ridiculous stories coming up on this channel let's begin with the story i've said story like a hundred times in one second that that must be a record so yeah in a new policy change the canadian the canadian armed forces would no longer be using gender pronouns in official reports documents obtained by conservative commentator aaron gunn uh, and presented to the post millennial revealed that the military personnel are no longer allowed to write he or she but must replace it with they them pronouns regardless of the individual uh, preferred pron pronouns so this is one of the most ridiculous thing uh, to add into such a professional environment that is the army the army should be ruthless, should be uh, efficient, should always um, like train to kill. Okay, those snowflakey type, I hate to use that word because it's been so overused right now, but the snowflakey types usually don't go to the army, especially a, a volunteer army like the, like the Canadian forces, unlike Switzerland or Israel where you might be... Uh, uh, quote unquote forced to serve which because uh, military service is mandatory so it makes sense to be more inclusive and more uh, going towards the people who's going to join the army without any choice but the Canadian army is a volunteer force as far as I know just like the US just like uh, most of the armies around the world so it doesn't make sense to make it quote unquote more inclusive uh, nevertheless uh, most people who use preferred pronouns usually don't serve in the army because it's such a tough environment and those who use preferred pronouns like they or them uh, usually uh, die if they see if they come in contact with the sun or any other people so that's why it doesn't make sense to make these changes let's head on uh, issued by canadian forces forces uh, general message these changes that deprive a person of their sex-based identity in writing are meant to encourage de uh, gender diversity. In reports on personnel, no superior will be allowed to use pronouns that designate or refer to a person's biological sex, the notice reads. Now, uh, this is not a problem uh, in a reports if you can't refer to their uh, pronouns. They, it will need... Uh, it will need some time to get used to, but usually on uh, army reports, you have the uh, soldier's uh, personal soldier ID number. You have uh, a ton of other identifying factors that you don't need to use the pronouns. I don't know if they remove the soldier sex from there, but uh, that still uh, remains to be seen. Let's see. Uh, based on a recent CIF cultural and normative shift to promote gender diversity and associated inclusiveness, CFPAS uh, writing policy and guide will also reflect this new reality where sex, gender identity and gender expression are prohibited grounds of discrimination under Canadian Human Rights Act. Uh, fourth word, the use of gender pronouns such as quote he, is and she, her unquote are not to be used when drafting pers uh, I think it says uh, personal members uh, will be referred to by rank and name or by using gender neutral pronouns such as they there this is going to be ridiculous i think we have the direct uh, quote um, also based on a recent kef cultural and normative oh yeah that's the the exact uh, thing they just said uh, in practice superiors who are required to write personal reports for those who serve under them will not be allowed to use the pronouns of that person's choosing if they identify as male or female and use sex-based pronouns. Instead, everyone will be referred to with the accepted gender-neutral plural pronouns of they, their, them. It is not yet known how Canadian Armed Forces personnel will react to the deprivation of their sex-based identity in their personal documents. 
it is uh, currently not clear what the consequences may be for officials who do not follow the new protocol. In 2016, Bill C-16 was passed amending the Canadian Human Rights Act. It added gender expression to the list of groups that are protected from discrimination, as well as adjusting hate speech and hate crime laws to include protections for gender expression. So for those of you that don't know, Bill C-16 was basically the whole um, uh, Jordan Peterson drama that happened where he said that they're going to uh, find people who's not using the preferred pronouns of uh, people because now gender expression is part of the uh, protected classes. And if you don't pay that fine, you obviously go to jail, which will be one of the first few cases of the English Commonwealth actually policing people's speech uh, to that extent. Uh, while use of preferred pronouns have been considered a necessary element of promotion and inclusion of gender diversity, this change by the Canadian Armed Forces is the first time that preferred pronouns are being officially discounted in favor of a catch-all uh, gender-neutral pronoun system. So I'm gonna go out on a limb and say it's not that bad that they're using uh, a gender-neutral uh, pronoun system. I mean, it makes those... Uh, uh, forms easier to fill out because you use they them always but it would be less descriptive it can't be imp implemented in other languages like uh, Spanish and Hebrew I think because those are gender, gender languages which uh, some of the world has gendered languages meaning you can't go gender neutral because you either have a male or a female form to every pronoun, every uh, uh, adjective, every um, noun, every, everything in the language is basically gendered, so you can't go gender neutral. Um, uh, so that's why you can have a more gender inclusive environment as well. But this is a weird change to make. I, I, usually I see the army as a more quote-unquote merit-based uh, experience. It's not about being all-inclusive, especially when it's a volunteer force. You don't have time to deal with PC shit. Obviously, you have some protections uh, that you didn't have previously, like you can't have drill sergeants abusing you with uh, swear words like they did um, back in the day. And you have some more uh, socially related uh, protections like sex-based, this anti-sex-based discrimination and sexuality-based discrimination, which is okay, I'm fine with completely. Uh, but this is just... A ridiculous change that's not supposed to be there like this is a waste of the government resources uh, because those uh, uh, army officials have, have probably had to run through all the uh, previous documents that the Canadian armed forces curated and changed the language so the default forms would include those uh, non-gender pronouns uh, so this is a way a waste of resources for the sake of PCness that doesn't uh, improve anything. Maybe it makes the army a little bit more efficient by using they, them always instead of he or she, but it's rather inefficient when you consider the fact that um, the old, su the all the superiors right now in the army who aren't trained that way are used to using gendered pronouns and gendered language. So now, now they'll have to check themselves every single time once they yell a comment or shout to the soldier. So imagine being, uh, this is obviously the most uh, uh, extreme example, but imagine being a superior right now at war, shouting to a soldier, uh, yo, you need to go over there, you need to cover us here, you need to uh, do something that's detrimental to the uh, combat effectiveness. I guess most of them won't use a third, uh, a third person pronoun but it still slows down those uh, the efficiency of the uh, commander giving up giving out those uh, comments. So this is a weird bad change, I guess. We'll see how it pans out. But best case scenario, it's a waste of resources. Worst case scenario, it really hurts combat effectiveness in terms of shouting commands now, because you'll need to uh, let's say. Uh, instead of saying man down, you need to say now person down. Or uh, instead of he took a shot, they took a shot, man down, shit like that. Uh, that will slow down radio effectiveness, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I'm, I, I haven't been to the army at least like 
for four years now, so I'm not the best uh, guy to talk about it. But yeah, I don't know. This seems like a weird change to me. Uh, if I have any Leafs watching me, I'd like to hear your opinions. I know your government is always uh, overdoing it with the PC shit. Uh, it's not like the UK where it's just ridiculous and dystopian. Canada can be dystopian as well, but it's more on the goofy side. So it's more funny to read and laugh at than, rather than people are actually getting hurt by it, at least for now. So I'd love to hear your opinions in the comments. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe and turn on the notification bell. Uh, drop a like on this video, it helps a ton. And if you want to support this channel, we have now channel memberships as well as Patreon page and a subscribe star. Thank you guys for watching. I'll see you in the next video.